Good evening and welcome to the Sports Bar on Talk Sport with myself, Jamie O'Hara and Jason Candy. Has anyone seen Belgium? Thibaut Courtois, Munier, Alderweireld, Vertonghen, Castagne, Dendonka, Witzel, De Bruyne, KDB, can you hear me? Your boys took one hell of a beating. Martins, Lukaku, 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 can you hear me, Lukaku? Your boys took one hell of a beating. Casero, Trossard, Degen Hazard, Eden Hazard, Duku, Theata. Tillemans, Mignolet, Bat- Batshuayi, Deku, mayonnaise on fries, waffles, Belgian waffles. Can you hear me, Belgian waffles? The European Union headquarters, Le Fautoville Westerbal. Can you hear me? Paro, Paro, can you hear me? Your boys are one hell of a beating. Audrey Hepburn, the Smurfs, Tintin, and your dog Snowy. Can you hear me, Snowy? Stella Toi, Chocolate, Bruges, Jean Claude Van Damme. Can you hear me? The muscles from Brussels. Muscles, can you hear me? You must have one hell of a beating. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not done. We're not done. Run it back. Run it back. Good evening and welcome to the Sports Bar on Talk Sport with myself, Jamie O'Hara and Jason Has Candy. Has anyone seen Germany? <laughs> Neuer, Kimmich, Sute, <laughs> Rudiger. Can you hear me, Rudiger? You must have went hell of a beating. Ram, Gundigan, Elkai, Elkai. Are you listening to me, Elkai? You must have won hell of a beating. Sane, Musalia, Gnabry, Muller, Havertz, Gunter. You must have won hell of a beating. Mercedes Benz, can you hear me, Benz? Can you hear me, Benz? You must have won hell of a beating. Curry Watts, Adidas, Pretzels, Porsche. Albert Einstein, can you hear me, Einstein? Can you hear me? You're about to win hell of a beating. Brafa sausage, sausage, pin your ear back. You're about to win hell of a beating. Ludwig van Beethoven, Volkswagen, Mozart, Rumpel Stiltskin, can you hear me, Skin? Skin, can you hear me? You're about to win hell of a beating. Steffi Graf, Hugo Boss. Puma, Hans Zimmer, Nina, and your 99 red balloons. Can you hear me? Your boys took one hell of a beating. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, and, um, I'll tell you what, if Spain went out as well, you're going to have a serious problem. Do you know what? We nearly went all three. We were planning for all three. Paella was getting it. Paella was getting it. Absolutely superb, mate. Ooh. Are you all right? Do you need a break? No, I'm fine. I'm You're fine. good. I'm fine. I have to say, though, mate, that, that's, that's the toughest I've ever done, that one. Wow. That was That, that was, was double bubble. That's... Pr- that's oh, I mean, dear. it was up there. I mean, look, what a day of football, Jace. What a day. Immense. Immense. The greatest day of the World Cup so far, by some distance. Um, How good is it when it goes down to the wire but do, like yeah, that? Do, do you know what? So you and I watched the games um, last night, and there was jeopardy last night because you couldn't quite work it. Who's going through? Who, who, who's going to somehow find their way through? But I have to say, I've not seen a group change like that. That was Costa Rica, <clears throat> who were bottom, had no, had no chance of going through. Well, beating Germany after going 1-0 down. Belgium, after going 1-0 down against Germany, were winning there. So then Spain and Germany were both going out. At one stage, Costa Rica were going through in second, Germany were going through in third. My, my voice is gone. <laughs> <coughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Have some water. Hold on, hold on. Have some water. <laughs> Jeez. It's brilliant. 
I right? love it. So and, and you and I are watching it, and we have, so when when Costa Rica scored the second goal, Jay and I, Jay saying the game's getting stretched, and as it's going on, Jay, Jay, there's a ball, there's a chance here. Well, you could see it. You could and see then it. as the goal goes, Jay and I were jumping, hugging, yeah. hugging. <laughs> Like it was Spurs and Chelsea together it scoring a winning... Was. We had to remind ourselves that England weren't playing. I know, but it was so good. It, no, was, it was so brilliant. good. Um, look, look, Spain managed to bumble the way through. Congratulations to Japan, by the way. And I thought Croatia were excellent. Yeah. I thought they were really good. Um, Belgium, how disappointing. And you made the point. It's a brilliant point. It's worth making. It's worth really underlining. Gareth Southgate comes in for so much clog, right? And we're, we're little Englanders here. We think we're the best nation in the world and we're not. Yeah. We're not. We haven't proved it for years. Yet you get you get nations like Belgium who have got De Bruyne, Hazard, Lukaku. They've had their be- that one of the best young squads in the last ten years growing up, and they've won, and they've got anywhere near winning a tournament. Nowhere near it. They've got to a final, got to a semi, they've got to a final. And for us to, to to get out the group, we've seen we've seen other nations in the past. Germany, Italy, it's not even here. Germany, last two World Cups, out of group stage. It's a, it is a shambles. It's a sh- it's so, shambles. So can we just have a little bit, please, please, have a little bit of respect for what Gareth Southgate yeah. continues to do, get navigating your way out of a group. Yeah. It's not easy. Everyone says it's easy. Ask, ask Spain. It was easy. They're second. Germany are out. Belgium are out. Mm. Croatia could have been out, and they're a good team. Yeah. So come on, let, let's, let's have a little bit of... Just a, a, a little bit of respect for what Gareth has done and has continued doing. We're out the group, we're on top. Can't ask any more. Yeah, Can't absolutely. Can't ask any more. If you want to have your say on that, uh, if you're a Belgium and German fan as well and you uh, you want to have your, uh, your, your rants because it is absolute disgrace, really. Belgium, second in the FIFA World Rankings, are out of the World Cup. Martinez has walked and Germany... One of the favourites going into the tournament. Yep. Go out. It's unbelievable what we've seen. It is unbelievable. 03 717 I'm going to let Jason Cunney get his, his, yep. his voice back and go to Ali, who's a Man United fan. All right, Ali? Uh, good evening, guys. Good evening. Hey, what a World Cup. What a fantastic World Cup. Let me, let me say it again. What a fantastic World Cup. The reason I'm saying this, there's been people in the media and all that trying to put a dampener to this World Cup, saying this, all these negative things. I think I'll absolutely enjoy it. I'll put this alongside Mexico 86 are one of my favourite World Cups. Mm. And let's give credit to Japan. Fantastic win. Can I just say, um, when I was watching the TV, all they could talk about, Graeme Sooners, he was more annoyed than German fans. If you, you can't even look at his face. At the end of the day, these mistakes happen. Don't forget the, um, the Spurs goal against United went over the line, Lampard goal. These things happen. Let's give credit where credit's due. Japan. They were excellent. A fantastic win. They were excellent, and, Japan. I mean, the way they press. I'll tell you what, you want to want to play. If you you don't want to come up against Japan. I mean, the way they're going after teams and they've got this never say die attitude. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. You know, they've gone after it. They've gone and trying to win games. They're pressing all over yeah. the pitch. The energy that they've shown. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fa- I mean, that's what football's all about. We love, we love seeing the, like the smaller nations winning against big teams. That we should be. I know there's been it's been a big controversial decision, but at the end of the day, Spain had the hold of second half to score another goal, and they couldn't score. And you know, it's great to see all these um, the smaller nations uh, big, uh, beating the big team. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. You Loving know, it. you know what, Chase? We looked at the groups, and we've now seen the roots through. We're starting mm. to all kind of come together. Mm-hmm. I think Spain have done a dirty one. I think they've done a dirty one on Germany and thinking, you know what? Yeah. We don't actually massively need to score because now they're the other side of the draw and they avoid Brazil and Argentina. Yeah, but there was a point where they were going out. I know there was a point. There, there was a point. And if Costa Rica got another goal and Japan got another goal, they were out. So I'm not sure they're that clever. I'm not sure the teams think about that. It's turned out in, in their favour, actually not as bad as it could have been. And I remember going back to Russia where we got beat by Belgium in the last game, last game of, of the group. Um, and we went through in second. And everyone there, no one again gave Gareth any credit. Oh, it's an easy group. We beat a German side, right? Now, the German ain't great. We started to beat them. We beat Denmark, who were a decent side back then. Yeah. How bad did Denmark, Denmark be in this group? Out. I mean, some big in this, nations. In this World Cup. Big nations but have listen, gone let, out. Let, can we just please have a little bit of respect and just take your time and think about we are not the best side this world has ever seen. We've got good players. We've got really good players. But we're up against what would be, my, in my opinion, better teams. Brazil right now in front. They're the two big heads that you're looking at. Yeah. And you're going... But then you look at J- Japan. I mean, to top the group is Spain and Germany. 
Yeah, they topped the group. Morocco topped the group with with Croatia and Belgium. Have some respect. This is this this is clearly going to be, a, and it has been so far, a World Cup of shocks. Yeah, a big shock. And if England win it, that will be the biggest shock of the lot. Yeah, absolutely. 